to how to repair. In today's video we're going to have a look at a Hoover washing machine which is displaying in the control panel LCD E08. E08 is motor related fault. This normally indicates that you may have a problem with the carbon brushes in the motor. This can also be used on other Hoover manufactured machines like Candy. This would also display E08. If you don't have an LCD display, you may end up with a flashing light sequence which would indicate E08 error code, but you'll see that in other videos. Okay, first thing you need to do is unplug the machine from the power supply. You don't always need to disconnect it from the water. Take the back panel off. Here you have the motor, take the belt off, it's quite easy, just pull the belt slightly towards you and rotate the drum. Now we need to undo the two motor bolts and disconnect the electrics. Okay, down the side here we have the electrics, the earth, and then there's a motor plug that you need to disconnect. Tuck that out the way, two 10mm bolts. Right, now we've disconnected the bolts, sometimes there is two bolts at the back. I'm just using a little prising tool I have here because it does stick on the plastic. That just loosens it up off the brackets. Support the motor and then you can take the motor away. And there we have the motor. I can see burning slightly on the armature which is a clear sign that the carbon brushes have worn and you can also see on this drum here a lot of carbon dust this is normal it does get attracted to certain areas and the dust that comes from the carbon brushes do uh, stick to the drum and some of the electrics so we'll have a close look at this motor now okay here we have the motor to take the carbon brushes off these are the smaller tags which are 4.8 not the uh, 6.2 there is a little button that you press down that will release the carbon brush off the terminal Pull the wire off the terminal then we need to undo the two screws that comes away. There is a little bit of meat left on that carbon brush but I suspect the other one is the one that's worn completely out. And as you can see this is what I was on about earlier. The carbon brush is very carbonized uh, when I say carbonized, it's a charring burn. You can clearly see that this is completely and utterly worn out. Now, a new carbon brush is much longer, as you can see. Now, remember, all our carbon brushes come with a unique transit bracket, which means you've got a little plastic lug that you can see on the top here. I'll bring it closer to the camera for you and this you need to break away this then allows the carbon brush to pop out it's basically for transportation uh, and that stops it breaking in transit the carbon brushes for this motor uh, which you will find on the link below and the link above are 6758 I've actually put that uh, a link to these into the tutorial to make it easy for you. Just support the carbon brush, slide it down, make sure it goes on to its two location lugs which are here and here, then replace the screws. And then put the electrical terminal on. Do the same on the other side. And 
and then put the electrical terminal on as I said earlier there is the release pin for pulling them off because once they're on they're on so you need to press this button down now we'll reinstall the motor you can either take the motor through this way and then put your hand underneath and then take it up onto the location lugs Just hand tight and a nip. Replace the electrics. The motor plug can only go in one way because it has location lugs on it. So make sure that firmly goes in and don't forget to put the earth wire on. So nice. Next, we need to put the belt on. Easiest way to put a belt on, put it onto the motor first, take it up onto the pulley wheel, and then rotate the pulley wheel until the belt goes on. And then you need to rotate the drum. I've still got a full load of clothing in this to make sure the belt is sitting comfortably in the middle of the top pulley wheel. Okay, we've put the back of the machine on, we've plumbed it all in, it's on test, all working perfectly. Remember you can get these carbon brushes at the website in the links above and below in the YouTube description. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful. And remember, if you want to support the website, you can always support the website by clicking on the Bipolar Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.